Where are we? We're still in the Nexus. Oh. Wait, weren't you supposed to take me to the Nightmare Moon timeline? I figured that you would be more interested in learning more about the thing that actually caused Nightmare Moon. Well, I already know about all of that. Luna was jealous because Celestia was getting all of the attention, so she let her emotions consume her and turn her into Nightmare Moon. It's a bit more than that. Have you ever noticed that there seems to be a disconnect between the two? Well, yeah. Nightmare Moon did seem to be a physical manifestation of Luna's emotional state when she was ruling with Celestia. Haven't you noticed how Nightmare Moon differentiates herself from Luna, or how Daybreaker does the same with Celestia in the few instances in which she is seen? Well, they do, but they're just two opposite sides of the same coin. Not necessarily. I believe that Nightmare Moon, and by extension Daybreaker, are what I call Nightmare Parasites. Well, I know a lot of things about Equestria, but I've never heard of a Nightmare Parasite. Do you have any proof about one existing? There are a few different instances which might indicate the presence of the Nightmare Parasite. One of the first ones that comes to mind is the state in which Luna is in upon being freed from Nightmare Moon. And what does her state have to do with this? Do you remember how confused and weakened she was? She went from being a threat to all of Equestria brimming with self-confidence and power to a timid child unsure of where she was all in the span of a rainbow laser beam. People that are that full of themselves with that much power don't just fold like that when confronted with defeat. Just look at Chrysalis. No. This feels like much more of a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type scenario. That's true. Chrysalis did have a chance to take Starlight 2 from friendship, but she rejected it instead. So are you suggesting that this Nightmare Parasite was the one behind Luna's emotional state? Not exactly. Luna was the one in control of her emotions. However, the Parasite took advantage of her moment of weakness. Imagine that you are in her shoes. You are one of the rulers of quite possibly the most influential country that your world has ever seen. However, you are just relegated to being Celestia and the other one. Nobody knows you, nor do they care what you do. You start to get bitter and resentful as day after day, you do your job with little to no thanks or recognition from those you protect. Finally, you begin to think, maybe if I was a bit stronger, had more power, maybe then they would notice me. And a voice answers, saying that it can give that to you, if only you just give it control. Next thing you know, you've said yes, and are a passenger in your own body as the parasite grows stronger off your negative emotions. And what do you mean by waste away? She's an alicorn. Nothing like that can happen to her. I mean, look at the changes to how she looked for Nightmare Night. If that didn't imply that she was in a weakened state when we first met her, then I don't know what would. However, there is one example of what would happen if a nightmare parasite were to be left unchecked. Okay, I'll bite. So what do you think could happen then? Have you heard of the Pony of Shadows? It was shown to prey on those whose emotional state was weakened when it found Stygian. Not only that, but even without Stygian as a host, it still held the form of an alicorn. It obviously had been around for quite a long time before it found him. The thing also tried to use him to conquer Equestria much like Nightmare Moon. Not entirely sure what their obsession with world domination is, but all three examples of Nightmare Alicorns have been examples of alicorns weakened by their own negative emotions until they finally snapped and went full Mr. Hyde. The closest example we have is Starlight when she attempted to bottle her emotions, literally. Whenever they were finally set loose, they hunted down the nearest pony and controlled them against their will. Though if this is a nightmare parasite, it is significantly weakened compared to that of an alicorn. Wait. Do you mean that the Nightmare Parasite might have been created by the bottled up emotions of ponies? That's a really interesting thought. While I think that it is a latent possibility for all ponies, it is most likely only a danger with the magically inclined. So all I have to do to find all of this out is become an alicorn princess. That sounds easy enough. Uh huh. Speaking of, I'll give you five bits if you can make me into an alicorn nameless. That's enough of that. Ah. That really sucked. But what do you think? Do you think that the Nightmare Parasite is the reason that Luna turned into Nightmare Moon? Why or why not? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And happy birthday to both me and the first video I posted on this channel. I can't believe it's been two years. So thank you all for your support. I couldn't do it without you. I'm Windstriker, flying off until next time. Hoof to heart.